Hello, beautiful Sag. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you're doing fabulous. I really took some time when I was doing the pre-shuffle to pray over your situations and know that I have done that. I've prayed for guidance for you, for your protection, protection over your homes, your families, your loved ones, um, your finances your I prayed for guidance for you Sagittarius I'm not sure why yet but I know spirit has a message Sagittarius please protection guardian <laughs> mother earth that is feel loved and comforted be devoted and committed. Sage energy. Retreat and recharge. This is the hermit. Earth guardian. Stay rooted and grounded. Sagittarius. Stand your ground. Take note of intuitive messages with the moon. Star ancestor is here. Follow the voice of your soul. Medicine guardian. Be open to healing information. Stargazer. Set your sights higher. Take care of your needs. Take charge with authority. Exchanging energy to create abundance. Specifically, I want me to lay things out in a particular way today. I'm not sure why, but I know just trusting the universe here. You've got a lot of guardians around you here. Hmm. Exchanging energy to create abundance. This is your ancestors. This is also your guides, your guardians. Maybe you are setting your sights too low, Sagittarius. This is the Holy Grail. Inner discovery, finding sacredness. You are exactly what you've been looking for. You are what you have been seeking all along. Having it all within you. This is the Holy Grail. Divine love, divine abundance. The ancestral realm healing the lineage, and setting up boundaries. So a lot of you are releasing karmic, this is karmic release, healing the lineage, your ancestors' lineage, telling you to set your sights higher and to set up boundaries. You are setting your sights too low, Saj. And you're being told by your ancestors to set your sights higher. Stand your ground. Akashic records, clearing old stories, releasing past lives. You are getting your freedom back. The heart of source. All-encompassing love. Unconditional acceptance and serenity. Thoth, light codes, light initiation. Great teacher is awakening within you.
sword of light, divine protection, cords are cut. This is breakthrough energy. You are releasing old stories, old karmic debts, could be um, ancestral lineages, um, ancestral patterns. This is Orion activation, supernova, renewal, rebirth by light. Palladian activation coming together, harmony in the heavens, reaching a resolution. Hmm. Sag, you may have had an ancestral pattern of setting your sights too low. Settling for less. When you were the Holy Grail all along. Finding that you are all you've been seeking. Someone wants you back. This is hitting the jackpot, Saj. They're dodging bullets. Trying to block you. Someone has a low IQ. And they're all up in their head overanalyzing something. They are a spiritual hater. Trying to block you make you feel unacceptable, make you feel unworthy because this person was, ex oh my Lord, this person was exchanging energy with you to gain abundance, Sagittarius. You're the Holy Grail. And this, these energies, Sagittarius, were taking your energy, exchanging your energy to profit them. Oh my Lord. Arguments, physical fight, at war, competing, girl fights, making an offer, creeping. What is this, Sagittarius? This could be carless, no car, repossession, or car issues. I'm telling you. A dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessive karmic. And it's like you're winning money, getting rich, or getting an inheritance, or unexpected money. Your light is what's irritating people's demons because they're spiritual haters or they're, it's just because of your light. So now this is telling me that people in your life, Sagittarius, were using you, taking your precious energy to build themselves abundance. And now they got problems because you're no longer in their light. You're not around these. Spirit has cut cords. Spirit did cord cutting. Clearing old karmic lessons, karmic situations, low vibrational energies. Oh my God. Same crap every day. Someone's getting nightmares, unable to sleep. This could be to do with legal issues, hmm. courts, judges, immigration, lawyers, etc. Hmm. What's going on? 
someone expecting you to give money, someone is holding a grudge, and someone is stalking you, and you are unfazed. You may be stable, running your, somebody wants to kiss your ass. Now, this is marriage for money. Someone was, oh my God. This is somebody all up in their ego and you're fed up with people. Your light is irritating people's demons. So Sagittarius, these people are not doing very, very well without you. And they are dodging bullets. They are spiritual haters. Your light irritates their demons. You are the Holy Grail. You have light activation. You have cut away karmic energies from your life, karmic situations. Um, someone's stealing your ideas, copying your work, trying to feed off you this is what these people are doing, Sagittarius. Or were doing. See, when they created energy with you, Sag, they were sucking the abundance out of you. They were exchanging energy with you. So these people were doing well when they were in your energy. It's almost as if They could have been draining your soul, man. Just saying. See what the angels have to say. Sagittarius, Ace of Raphael, a positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights, high priestess, powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information. Spirit is telling you to be at peace. Sudden changes. Strong, committed, intellectual, and diligent. The Archangel Michael is talking to this person, telling them there is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. The moon, an opportunity to improve your plans. Listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. Face your fears and grow stronger. Do what you love, a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. Okay, this situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. So this person figured that they could come into your energy. That they could 
take your energy to create abundance. And Spirit was telling this person to take action, to do what it took. There was a better course of action that they could have had they listened to their intuition, that they could have had um, created a lot of abundance with you. But they, I don't know why they didn't. Because they were overanalyzing it. They would not make a decision. So Spirit is saying, look. Sagittarius, you have become very successful, stable, accomplished, and powerful. You're coming off Sagittarius. I don't care if you're feminine or masculine. You're coming off as the king of pentacles. You have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. Interesting here that you have three sevens, triple sevens. It's all the universe, uh, trusting the universe. High Priestess is here. Somebody was stealing your ideas, copying your work, duplicating you or feeding off of you. And Spirit was saying, this situation is no longer serving you, and you've made a wise decision, Sag, to trust your intuition. Judgment. Wise decisions, you have chosen wisely. Look at you, solid, stable foundation. This is an awakening and it's releasing old stories, setting your sights higher, Saj. Let's see. Mm. Look. Conflict. This person was told to make a decision, Sagittarius, and they were too slow making this decision. Although the Knight of Pentacles is slow moving, you know, they usually get to the finish line. However, there is some jealousy here, some conflict or envy. The situation was no longer serving you. I mean, my Lord, have mercy. They were told to make a decision. They were told to take action. To make a decision. This is the teacher. 
the Hierophant. Whoa. Anger, resentment. What in the heck is going on here? This person is dodging bullets. I, I swear that they are. High Priestess. Moon, trust your intuition. Empress. Set your sights higher. You were setting, you are the Holy Grail. That's the Empress. Karmic board clearing. Somebody was This is Emperor and Empress. This is what the hell is this? Over analyzing, overthinking, all up in their head. Sleepless nights can't sleep. You're on a solid foundation. You have chosen wisely. Uh -huh. Spirit telling this person would be better if you just made a decision. Just make a decision. Stop overanalyzing. Stop. But this damn person is blocking people from coming towards you. They wanted to trap you, Sagittarius, because when they're with you, they are productive. They are draining your energy feeding off you, stealing your ideas, duplicating you, feeding off of you. Look, this anger, resentment, uh, possessive and controlling, dangerous karmic energy. They're dodging bullets. You're the Holy Grail. Look, 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 you have chosen wisely. You were guided. Look, you had to make a decision, Sagittarius. Now this is going it alone. This is sage energy, a wise choice you have made, Sagittarius. This is sage energy. This is knowledge. This is wisdom. Um, this is karmic release. This is a karmic board clearing. They were trying to keep you stuck, Satch. This is karmic board clearing.
These are spiritual haters. Your light irritates their demons. Spirits cutting cords. This is spiritual cord cutting going on here. You've been freed of karmic debts, freed of ancestral patterns, freed. You've cleared the board. The slate is clean. Sagittarius, you are exactly what you have been seeking. You. This is cord cutting, freeing you from generational patterns, curses, hexes, whatever. The slate is clean. Mm. This is the nastiest energy I have ever seen here. Look at all these people talking about you, Sagittarius. Look at it. This is your person, but there are others here. Spirit set the record straight here. Okay. Someone in your past was um, keeping other energies from coming towards you. Because they wanted you for themselves, Saj. They wanted to drain your energy. They're making up lies and stories about you and telling them to other people so they will be afraid to come toward you. Because they want your energy. They know you're the Holy Grail. All right? They know you are. Whoa. They're having nightmares, anxiety. This is karma playing out. I don't know if this is your energy. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Who is the Queen of Pentacles? Third party. Untrustworthy friends or untrustworthy alliances. This is not your energy. And if it was your energy, this person has been gossiping about you, telling people not to trust you, telling people to not come near you. Whoa. So in case this is your energy, that's the Midas touch. This is someone in who's dedicated, loyal, knows their worth, 
knows their value. And people telling gossip rumor associations, telling people not to trust you. Gossip rumor. These people are spiritual haters. Making fun of you. Exchange Jesus. Exchanging energy. Going from you to this person and feeding these people your ideas, your creations, feeding off of you. Mother effers, because you're the Holy Grail. You get over there. That's not you, Sagittarius. They were giving it to this other energy. They were blood sucking you and giving your goodness, your unconditional love, your ideas, your successes to some mother effer who didn't deserve it. Fool. what they were freaking planning Sagittarius look I kid you not this one's a copycat look see this uh, feminine in the in the ten of pentacles that's this one here one of these third parties. That is this one here. This is not your energy. Although you're the empress, you possess that queen of pentacle energy. But no, they were taking from you, Sagittarius, feeding this other person. Oh, this is exchanging energy. So this person would come to you, Sagittarius. Oh, my Lord, have mercy was feeding off of your ideas, going back, telling all your ideas, making it look like this is a masculine doing this. Making someone else wealthy off of your damn ideas, off of your unconditional love, off of your energy. Look at all the people that were profiting off you. And this one talking to this one, this one talking to this one, this one talking to this one, this one talking to that one. Girl fight. All talking about you, Saj. This person's an a-hole. I'm sorry, I'm calling them straight up. They were jealous of you, Sagittarius. Jealous of your abundance. Jealous of your... Empress energy, jealous, jealous, jealous of your wisdom, your strength, your confidence, your ideas. Man, you're blessed here. These are your gifts, Sagittarius. And this son of a bitch was coming see you. They were going back and forth, okay? They're going back and forth. Coming in with everything you said, everything you said, all your ideas. Feeding it to this mother effer who is a spiritual frickin' hater. But they were sponging off you. Sponging off your goodness, your good energy, and making someone else wealthy off it. Including them. Stealing your ideas. Claiming them as their own. This person is despicable. 
which is why, like, they have a low IQ. They're not as smart as you, Sag. They're not as wise as you, Sagittarius. You're the sage. Come on. They're not as smart as you, Sagittarius. See, they feel slow. This person may have a low IQ. They're not as smart as you. I don't care if they're an emperor or who the hell they are. They're not as smart as you, Sagittarius. And they were going back and forth, going right from seeing you, going straight over to this mother effer who is your competitor and feeding them, making money off of you, off of your ideas, creativity muncher, stealing your ideas, copying your work, duplicating you, feeding off of you whether that is financially um, ideas that make money, copying everything you said, word for word. Spiritual haters. These are your gifts. The sword of truth. This is the great severing. Look at Sagittarius. You have chosen wisely. Archangel Michael here with the sword. Severing relationships. These were your gifts, Sagittarius. It was you all along. Your ideas, your success, your efforts. You're the holy grail. Ancestors are saying, set your sights higher. Why are you giving your ideas to these fools? Girl fighting, putting you in competition. This person going back and forth, stealing your knowledge, your ideas, and feeding them to third parties exchanging energies, your energy, and feeding it to undeserving villains. I cannot. Shame on you. Because they were dodging bullets. They were with a possessive, controlling karmic. A dangerous karmic. A threat. This person has a low IQ. They may be slow. You know what I mean? I'm not saying they're stupid, but their actions are foolish. Overanalyzing, overthinking. Archangel Michael telling them. It would be better not forcing them, telling them it would be better if you just made a decision. Spirits wasn't going to tell them what was in store for them, which happens to be the Ten of Pentacles. Ancestors are saying, Choose the right relationships. Choose people. Set your sight. You are setting your sights too low. Look at the bullshit you've been involved with. Rejection is protection. I swear the right relationship will come along. 
overanalyzing, overthinking, 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 rejecting you, leaving you out in the freaking cold. People making accusations about you, Sagittarius, accusing you of things. So there's some issues here now. Told you. Planned on manipulating you. It was all orchestrated. So they were heavily burdened. They would have had a lot of financial issues. They could have all kinds of stuff going on. So they were dodging bullets. They might have been dealing with a third party who who is very possessive and controlling. What did this say? An obsessive dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessive karmic. I'll say they're dodging bullets, literally. Financial bullets, car issues, car problems. Uh, so they were stealing your freaking resources to give to them. Your ideas to make this one uh, satisfied. You know what I mean? And it's looking as though they're planning something to come hustle you again. This one being told what to do by the other one. I'm going to be straight up with you, uh, Sagittarius. Some of these people were planning on knocking you off for your abundance, for your ideas. <laughs> mm. I don't know if someone was plotting an insurance scam, fraudulent activity, oh my God. Yeah, they're spying on you. Spying on your family. Someone was planning your death. <laughs> I'm sorry they were. To get the moan cells out of hot water. they're financially in trouble they're financially in trouble they plan on stealing <laughs> yes they did stealing your energy stealing your resources stealing 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 mother efforts finding a way they're dodging bullets, so somebody was threatening someone. Somebody is making some kind of threat that they were going to kill them or something like that if they did not do this. Your person was dodging bullets. It could have been matter-of-factly.
exchanging greedy mother efforts exchanging This is a possessus sage This is a possessive selfish lover They Sagittarius, this is off your energy. Look. Your work. Oh my God. Greedy. Oh my God. Blocking other people from coming toward you. Hang on, this is getting weird. Give me a break here. A possessive controlling karmic, dangerous. Stealing your frickin' ideas to make money and status. Oh my God. Greedy. Oh my fuck. Claiming it as their own. This person. Oh Lord. I cannot read this. Sagittarius. Trying to block you. It's almost like this person
<coughs> Jesus, Saj, I'm ashamed of this person. Claiming it as their own. This is not, you are not coming off as the King of Pentacles. This person was becoming uh, successful off of your hard work. This King of Pentacles was stealing your freaking ideas, feeding it to the Queen of Pentacles. They were stealing your work, stealing your ideas, trying to claim them as their own, looking like a big shot, getting all the attention off your ideas. Greedy. Hmm. It's your ideas they were stealing and profiting, letting some frickin' obsessive controlling karmic profit off of your ideas, your work. Oh my lord. To keep you from what was fated for you. Try, they're Oh my God. Fuck. I can't. I can't deal with this. I'm angry. Saj. You're the Holy Grail. Someone was getting a victory, getting victorious off of your work. You're the Holy Grail. You've been the Holy Grail all along. You've been setting your sights too low. All these mother effers over here were gaining at your expense could have caused you poverty, could have caused you to like, it's almost like they wanted to steal your destiny. But you're too beloved by the universe, by your angels. You're a healer. Blood suckers. Stealing your ideas and making money off of them. That's how they have gained their status. Blocking other people from coming toward you. Shitting on your ideas, calling you down, talking behind your back, making fun of you, ridiculing you, trying to make you feel insecure, 
Jesus, Saj. Gaining wealth off your back. Who in Jesus' name is this? Trying to involve you in some damn ass fight. Girl fight or something. What a fool. Give me a break. Cannot stand these. It's just thieves. People stealing from you, Sagittarius. You're going to have to really watch people, okay? Yeah, that was my idea. Sagittarius came up with like a um, a grand idea and they're claiming credit over it. Yeah, that was all me. That's all me. I did it. I did it. These are bloody ass masculines doing this to you, Sag. And they didn't want to look stupid, okay? They didn't want to look stupid. So you have been around, you've been setting your sights too low. You were the holy grail all along. And spirit is clearing the board here. Somebody owes a lot of karma for the what they've been doing to you. Sagittarius. This is heavy, heavy karmic energy. They're going to pay some dear, dear karma. Somebody is under spiritual judgment, settling and making their record straight. Whatever was stole from you, Sagittarius, is being given back tenfold, I'm telling you. It's like all these people that come into your life, they were tested by spirit. It's like you could be walking karma. You've had to sacrifice. You've had to go through all of this to get this. All these people that come into your life were tested by source. And failed. There ain't one of them standing. All your relationships God. I can't believe it. And now you've got people currently trying to do the same damn thing. Living high on the hog off of your ideas. Living high off the hog off of your work. I cannot. Tell me about this... Um, get wound at stuff like this. I'm going to have to sage or something after this. <laughs> I cannot. So they're dodging bullets. They could be going bankrupt. They could be uh, court issues, legal judgments. We have all this crap uh car issues, repossessions, whatever going on.
People could be saying all that about you, Sagittarius. And it could be, you know, they abandon you when you're down on your luck or, or abandon you when you have nothing or abandon you when you are having all these problems or something. And they all want to talk about it, but they sure know how to steal your freaking ideas and make money off them. Talk to me. What is that? Oh, court decisions. Okay. And that's what they plan on doing again. If you give them a chance, they'll steal from me again. They should be ashamed. Win at all costs. Look, somebody's after your money, Sagittarius. I do not care. Spirit is giving you the heads up here. Selfish bastards who want to hurt you. They're spying on you. And they... Oh, waiting to go to court, see? Money bags here. Win at all costs. I don't care what I got to do, who I got to lie to, who I got to steal from. My investments are going down. And I'm looking at Saji's money. This person has walked away from their feelings and emotions a long time ago. Spirit is saying, do not trust these people. I don't know who the hell they are. They want to take you to court, or is this a court decision? Uh, this is opportunists, okay? This person has walked away from their emotions. They don't have any. It's all about money and all about winning and all about status. And they may try to go to court because you've got some money. We all the way in saying that was my idea, uh, trying to claim your success as their own. These people are a-holes. Spirit, well, you're the Holy Grail here, so Spirit's got you under severe protection, okay? What about this court thing?
They're going to make fools of themselves. They're going to regret it. That's what this person was doing. Saj, your past person. And, and by the way, it is through sex that your precious energy, all that goodness, all of that high vibrational energy went back. As soon as they had sex with someone else, they're giving them that precious energy of yours. And it is your sexual exchange. I'm sorry, it is. So they were getting wealthy off of you. Another way is through uh, your ideas. You're feeding the frickin' enemy your ideas of how to get successful, how to make money. Oh my Jesus, Lord, help mercy. You're going to get people kissing your ass, Sagittarius. And it's not because they like you. It's because of your money. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sag. Some of you are going, I don't have any money. I don't have any money. But you have energy. And you have ideas. And they're money-making ideas. Your ancestors are saying, Sagittarius, I've cut the cords for you. You owe no karmic debt to nobody. Whatever karmic debt you have owed has been paid in full. Look, Sagittarius, you better start setting your sights higher. Because not everybody is loving and not everybody's like you, Sag. There's some bloodthirsty energy, financial wizards out there who know exactly what to do and what to say. And you've had to become a different character. Someone's holding a grudge against you, Sagittarius. They're, they're making up stories about you. They're saying the worst about you. They're repeating all of your life story to other people. They are turncoats. They are traitors. And they're just waiting for the opportunity to like strike. You know what I mean? The 
are all up in their head. You're moving on, Sagittarius. Say I told you. They're sad, they're hurt, and they're crying over you. I don't know. Somebody from your past has been yapping their face off to block people from coming toward you they're limiting the game field, trying to get rid of all your other options so they can have you for themselves. And they are getting bad karma. Telling people about your financial business, telling people you doing this, it was all me. It was all my ideas. All me. All me. Thieves. Energy thieves. Financial thieves. Idea thieves. Christmas. I'm really going to get nasty one day, I swear. In prayer. Righteously angry, not self-righteously angry. I'm going to have to be some prayer warrior here coming up, I swear. They're not getting away with it. Sometimes we're called up to stand up and fight. And it's telling you to stand your ground. Do not back down. Stand your ground. Bloodsuckers. I don't care who they are. Lovers, family, friends. They've been doing it to you for years, Sagittarius. Years. <clears throat> you don't owe these people squat. Bo diddly squat. You owe them nothing. Zero. And just so you know that, so if anybody comes along and lays the old guilt trip number on you, you owe them nothing. Now, I'm not trying to tell you to keep your heart chakra blocked, okay? Don't close off your heart because when you do that, you also block off your blessings. Keep the peace, right? But stand up and fight. You don't have to take it laying down. They don't call you the warrior for nothing. You're supposed to fight for you and to protect what is rightfully yours. I don't care who these people are. They have a sense of entitlement to what you have. I mean, you're coming off as the Queen of Swords, okay? <clears throat> but that's wisdom and discernment and knowledge. But don't be, like, so vigilant that you close your heart chakra. It's okay to be the Queen of Swords. Just saying. Because the Empress is all of those. All of the Queens. But 
don't close off your heart chakra completely so that you block your blessings. It's so that you just got to watch for opportunists and you've you've learned all these experiences. You are, you're being told. I don't care. I don't care about this whooshy gooshy stuff. At this particular time, you need to protect your energy. You need to protect yourself. However, it's okay to be this warrior and to stand your ground and protect yourself, but not to the point of blocking off your heart chakra. Because it's all the hurts you've been through, Sagittarius. I'm not telling you to, I'm not telling you to, you know, block, a, do not block your heart chakra. You know, I don't care. You can love a dog. You can love a pet. You can love a tree. You can, anything. Find something to love. Lots of it. And pour your love into that. It could be your work. It could be helping others. It could be loving yourself. It could be loving gardening or, or fishing or whatever it is, reading or whatever. Just don't become cold and detached because that's what they want. And these others are experiencing incredibly, incredibly harsh karma. Because spirit's clear in the board. Some of you, they're even plotting your death. Come on now. You think you're not getting bad karma for that? You've dealt with some pretty severe people, Sag, unbeknownst to you. And they're trying to block you from moving on because they've been leeching off your damned energy. But they'll sit and hate your guts. But they'll leech off you. I'm doing some heavy duty spiritual praying after this. Take care.